it's a two false star here headed up the or headed up to the astral clock tower um, this is my first playthrough in the DLC now I don't I don't know if because I, I've, I'm on new game plus on the normal playthrough um, and I started the DLC in New Game Plus, so I don't know if that automatically bumps the DLC to New Game Plus, or if that's just how it starts out, if that's the actual uh, new game, I, you know, I don't know, so if any of you guys do, you know, let me know, um, I'd like to know, but um, either way, <coughs> we're at the research center, um, so it's a pretty interesting area. Um, a lot of the little blobby head um, patients. Um, some in interesting um, stuff in here. Uh, I mean, you can tell there's a lot of crazies and um, just you know they they just experimented on quite a bit. It looks like you know as I you know, play the game more and more, especially through the DLC, as I'm starting to understand you know what kind of went on um, and from what I understand the bosses I'm fixing to fight called the living failures are the um, the choir's attempt to create a uh, celestial being kind of like the celestial being we fought in another part of the game um, now these guys just like the celestial beings they kind of spawn up from the little lumen woods um, and they just kind of keep spawning um, until you get them pretty much down to, to zero health so you know, don't, don't think there's a set number so I just pre you know, be, be prepared uh, to you know, try to knock them out as quickly as possible because they can't overwhelm you, uh, overwhelm you. You know, at some points. Um, now these guys are a little more dangerous than the celestial beings, um, being that they the, there seems to be two types, um, and I'm, I'm assuming all of them can cast spells, but they there seems to be a set number of spell casters and a set number of just ones that come after you and just swat at you. Uh, I had a little trouble with them a few times. I actually, uh, surprisingly, I had a lot of difficult. <laughs> uh, they they are surprisingly difficult, um, but I did get the hang of it and I finally got them. Uh, things to watch out for. Uh, you'll see them casting the the this little small meteor shower looks like um, and they, they can do some damage and the main thing is just kind of watch your back make you know know, know your surroundings because they like I said they they kind of come after you at all all angles um, you know the trick is to try to keep the casters on the other side of that lumen wood and use that tree to block you um, now this right here is the one you gotta watch for. It's a meteor shower they call. Now the, the good side is it gives you a chance to actually take one out um, and it always comes from the same side. So you can use that, that tree in the middle to block it and it won't, even, it won't touch you. So that's the good thing. Basically, what I try to do is, is you know, bait the majority of them around the tree, and you know, try to get one of them alone, and then go after that one while the other ones were, you know, just busy coming after me around the tree. Uh, you'll see me try to, I tried to go for it, but I got caught by one of the meteors, uh, like an idiot. But, um, I said they, they are pretty challenging just just from the numbers and you know, how quick
quickly they they run up on you. Um, they are parryable, so you know if you can parry them, that'd be good. Uh, as for the edge, just you know, kind of watch out for their attacks. Like I said, they got these head slams that do a lot of damage, and they kind of blindly swing, so they, they're you know, it's kind of hard to to really telegraph what they're going to do. Um, oh, I think this part right here, I actually got close to dying, and I, I kind of took a chance and uh, you know took a swing because they were at the last bit of health, um, as you'll see in just a second. Um, I think I actually was trying to go after the one that was uh, by himself, and um, uh, like I said, they, they do kind of come up on you kind of quick, so you got to watch that. And see, they, they spawn, you know, no matter how low, where the living failures kind of dwindle down, um, but they still, like I said, there's still numbers of them, so I guess there's a set number of living failures that um, stay active. See, I almost died right there, but, <laughs> but I kind of took a chance for that one. Um, but that's it, guys. I uh, hope that helped a little bit. And next boss is actually Lady Maria.